Yeah, Sean. Sean does all our shows. Other shows. Another couple of hours here, tidying that up. Yeah, we'll chew with them. Anyway, let's sit on these. Oh, that's nice. That's a massive day for them. That's nice and cold. Feels good on my booty. Okay, cheers, mate. Cheers. What do you want to know, Tiffle? Here's where I'll be doing most of my work on a Saturday afternoon, <laughs> on the bench. <laughs> yep. Now, Ooh. I don't know whether well, this is your first season, but supposedly a mate from school, Damo, who plays for the Cove Cobras, told me that one of these sheds, all the old guys just sit in there and drink and heckle everyone. Probably that one. Oh, this one here, yeah. Oh, that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. That's the heckler's shed. So hopefully there's no heckling. But, but how's this was like literally nothing about a week ago and then the curbs. How are you, mate? How, are you How are we tracking? Uh, going all right. Going all right? Yeah. Should be good for the 18th, mate. That's the plan. So, That's what we're hoping. See how we go. That's what we're here to suss out. Pitchman on Friday. Cool. Huge. So I can give you that much. Sick. Cool. Uh, that's kind of all we need, isn't it? Right? Pretty much, right? Yeah. yeah. Have the party on the 18th. Is that yeah. Right? Yeah, that's the plan. So, Bitchman on Friday and then line marking on the Wednesday after that. So, landscaping will continue as well, mate. I'm pretty confident that all should be good. That's uh, sick. Cool. Keep that between us and yeah. the camera. Sorry about the video. We'll put this You're an actor. <laughs> you natural. Really? Next minute, no Bitchman, nothing. We should pay, we should pay that guy. He is so good at talking. Better than us. That was definitely worth the $50 <laughs> note I just gave him before the video. The club had the old club rooms this year and they did some renovations. These new buildings here, this pole that we're leaning on, brand new. Um, and they got some funding from the council to do it, but then they ran out of funding and the like, building got more expensive. And so Fitzy, who's a major sponsor of the club, he came to us and said, let's do this festival. And we thought that ticks every box for us. I personally like the old one. I'm just putting it out there, but just a bit more character. But now we've got the new one, but we've got this wicked gig venue with the car park. Dude, it would be sick if the truck was like here but then and then the stage front, went front to, went to here yeah. and barrier like Should we put here. the barrier over that? Yeah. Yeah. That'd then, be sick. And then the masses <laughs> are here. So like the last festival we did was 500 or 550 people all together and we thought that was huge <laughs> it was it was huge and this one here is going to be 1500 people it's a little step a little step up so i reckon the bar will probably start where the grass ends and then come out on that thing oh like on, on the, the, on the like basically on the the curb so i think starts the, on the, curb. Well, the fridge part will be on the curb and then the bar might come out a little bit yeah i don't know about these food trucks what, they reckon they're going to be too big? Yeah, chimichurri van's pretty wide. Even the, old, the, the fired up pizza, they like have two separate parts. So like they can pull one part, like the oven up on this. Yeah. And then have like the serving area on this. Yeah. My only qualm is that it's pretty soft. You got a big ass pizza oven, you're going to get bogged. But they would pull it up on lawn and stuff all the time. Yeah, it's pretty squishy though. Anyway. Pizza oven. That, yeah, ideally it would be good along here. They'll know best. Yeah. Do you know, let's go walk over to the second stage. Let's. Because <laughs> there's a lot to talk about. The Methinger. The Methinger. <laughs> As Shane Forbes calls it, the Methinger. <laughs> but the Messenger was, sounds like the, it was almost like a newsletter for to find gigs out, wasn't it? And like. Was it? It was like where you could. Source. Oh, now I've just paid so, it out. There was, no, there, was no, uh, there was no social media back then, so people used to really? have to go to the messenger to find out where their local gig was. And I find that stuff so, so cool. cool. Like, I just think that's so, so cool. Like, the idea of like finding How the gig. How exciting would that be looking in it? Go to the messenger, see where the numbskulls or bearded clams or hot tomatoes are playing, hit the local. Yeah, I didn't even know that. That's so cool. So good. 
How many meters is it? Five. Should we just work One, off the front of the stage two, being along three, here? Three, four, five. Yeah. Should we just make the st front of the stage off here? Still pretty tight. If they took out the poles and then we put the stage on the grass. These poles? Yeah. They can't. Well, how do they get an ambulance on? There's a gate. Oh, okay. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people will be coming out, like out of the front. So if the stage is more like open to like, yeah, to there. instead of facing that, like facing that. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you've got all people can we, stand, we like there stand there as well. There, That'll yeah. be epic. Yeah. Oh, there's enough room. No, good call. Yeah. Um, can we look at the entrance as well for Mum's bunting? <laughs> <laughs> did you come up with a nice day to go to the club? Um, I think you did. Normally, it's quite hard maybe. to like think of a name for something, and it was like one of those ones where Jack just threw it out there, and instantly we were just like, yes. That's the yeah. name. It was well, like, officially, it was kind of went officially shortlist, yeah. and then it was just like we don't have time to really organise a name, so yeah. just, let's just go with that. Plan A. <laughs> so we're using a new car park out the back of the Newport Northern Footy Club, which is they've given us ninety percent confidence that it's going to be done. Plan B. We're setting up on the oval, a lot of tent fencing. <laughs> Still not a bad option, but. Fingers crossed for plan A. Plan B's easier to set up. <laughs> Is it? I reckon. Nah, just... You just fucking put the things around and then everyone just Nah, but for everything else though. Food, bar. Like, yeah, bar not so much. Like no power. Yeah, like. true. Yeah. But generators. We only got two. Yeah, but they don't know. They've got heaps of power points on. Plan B will still work. <laughs> plan B. No, no, no. Two. Do you see it starting like the fence at the club oh, room? At the, at the entrance, I reckon. Like the edge of the club room and then out. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I guess. Well, last night we found out that plan A is no longer possible due to some poor timelining or project management from a certain party. <laughs> Just have to rejig our whole event, really. But according, in two days. <laughs> according to the council, you're not allowed. You can only park one car on the oval. Yeah, so we <laughs> inevitably have to break some rules and break so some turf. We have to break some turf and break some rules. And break some skulls. Even though if the car park's finished, it will look finished, but we can't use it. So. This has changed a fair bit. Has it? <laughs> well, this was dirt last week. And yeah. Now it's, but it was still the same thing, they've just compacted it. They compacted it and primed it to be yeah. bitumized. It would be pretty much ready to go. It would be, we would be ready to go, but then you need to do like handover with the council, and that takes two yeah. weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Which they knew ages ago. So it would have, plan A would have never ever been a thing. Yeah. So. Which it they, kind of felt like that way from the start. But they'd never told us that. Yeah, I know. So yeah. we would have been able to do plan B hell yeah, 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 definitely. But. Oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> but plan B is pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just easy access to get everything in, but I just don't like the whole thing of, because the council are a bit antsy of the turf getting destroyed, so the club has to pay for the turf, whatever's destroyed. Mm. And if you have 1,500 people on grass, it's going to get destroyed. Yeah. It's been a stressful couple of days, but we've come around to it. Well, that's just me personally. Yeah. I was worked up. <laughs> Do you think we could set up an outside bar? You, you won't drive it up here. Uh, oh, okay, it's a drive up thing. Yeah. Yeah. We've got Phil Wood and Jack Stokes talking business. Look at him. I probably should be in the conversation, but there, Phil's part of the footy club. He's one of the key stakeholders for the event, helping us out. We've got Mark Dittmar, who's on the way. Um, you've got Jack Stokes co-founder of David Records. 
As it is now, we're going to get a big fat bill for damage to the turf. Yeah. What, what's, Keeping in mind the cricket's got a grand final the week after. So. What um, like how much do you think a bill of the turf would cost roughly? I don't know. I don't know. I'm more worried about damage to the sprinklers. Yeah. Which so wouldn't be. be. It's be not the end of the world. No. Okay. Uh, the people that have, people have granted the application for the liquor license from the council have already gone out, gone out on a huge limb for us just to get that space. Yeah. And get that one vehicle to drive out on the oval. Yeah. Will not, you won't get anything else through it. Yeah. Well, well, in you're your on the verge of telling us to fuck off. <laughs> they are. Yeah. They're okay. fully supportive. If the car park was ready, fully supportive. But their oval is bloody out of bounds. Yeah. They're precious. Yeah. We've got the buyback offer from Young Henry's as well. So any cases unopened that we don't use, don't have, don't have to pay for it and they can take back. So we're, we're all sweet. Way, way better to have 100 cases extra. Sounds good. See you, mate. That was Fitz. <laughs> Fitzy was super keen for plan A, as, why, as was I. But I think we've both come around to plan B now. We've let go of our stubbornness. <laughs> Fitz is pretty much the mastermind really behind the whole thing, to be honest. Um, he had a couple of key contacts with bad dreams and stuff to like to come and play and and then we just sort of started brainstorming all these ideas and just went to a whole nother level and now probably gonna have fifteen hundred people on this on this oval <laughs> cutting sick. <laughs> This is, it seems too like rigid to sit in the circle. No, I'm kind of vibing it. Yeah. Phil, how did you get involved with these two? I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> is t tonight is m more about developing a site plan? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think from my point of view, I was keen to make sure before we completely ruled out plan A and still striving for it, is that like, if plan B was going ahead, we knew that all the things that were needed, like food, outdoor bar, power, electrical, yeah. could be done out there. Where we need to set things up, we're really tight out, outside boundary now um, to, to have any of that, that, bit, that bit room. Again. Yeah, I know yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. They're actually going out on a limb, giving us the oval at all. Yeah. So if you're going to drive out, and it specifically says in the conditions, no food trucks, if you read the conditions, the only thing that's allowed to out there is vehicles related set to up. the stage. Yeah. What's the risk of having it out there? Is, is it, what's the risk? The risk is, the risk is with the, this damage to the oval? Uh, the risk of having it out there. Yeah. The yeah. playing surfaces are precious uh, because of the damage they've uh, had on motor vehicle car shows on other ovals and band events on other ovals. Too much damage uh, and they just outlawed it. It's not happening. So again, because of our circumstances, they're a little bit sympathetic and they've given us this opportunity. But it's a one-off and it'll never happen again. The, if the outside bar could be on the oval, that could just be really good. Is that a vehicle or not? Yes. It's a, well, it's a trailer. It's got wheels on it. Because we've got two generators. Like, we've hired two yeah, generators. Yeah, that's right. It should be able to work both sides. Yeah. 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 So even if you had the bar set up on the, on the fence line, and people can actually access the bar. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. From there. I think that's, that's pretty chill. And maybe... It's not that's definitely a scenario. It could do. Food vans in, in here. We yeah, might use that moves. blue bar as the front. Yeah. You know, as they yeah. walk in, yeah, they see the port longer thing as you walk in, and that's where you can yeah. check yeah. in. So, and so if you did all that from a gazebo yeah. there, yeah. then they walk in through the veranda, yeah. drink yeah. stall, merchandise yeah. all along there. It's sort of the entrance, like be, it's so you can't see it until you get in, and then you open it up. Yeah. Uh, the other thing we haven't decided basically is what extra stock we're going to purchase. We've ordered 500 cases. Yeah, that's, I think that's okay. So they'll yeah. be fed into the main cold room, yeah. plus the <laughs> outside bar cold room. We might have to um, sample some of the product on Friday just to make sure it's okay. We'll probably, <laughs> probably be yeah. ready. All right, I'm going to have a beer. Yeah, sounds good. When we started Dave Ed Records, I did not think I'd be s sitting around at a footy club till, what is it, 9 p.m. at night, talking logistics about a festival, that's for sure. The foundation of the event's still good, you know. Everyone, we've still got such good ticket sales. All the bands are locked in and keen as, you know, like the actual event is still there and still good. And on another positive note, like all the stakeholders, us, footy club, the complex, you know, everyone's spirits are still pretty high. We're all like trying to achieve the same goal. So 
and we're raising a shit ton of money for the club. So when I say that out loud, I actually feel pretty good about it. <laughs> well, I'm a stressing, but it's all good. Kiss me all before you go. Summertime sadness. I was just teaching stand up paddleboarding over at the river. Uh, now we're going to walk down the southport for a bodyboard. And then we'll finish with a snorkel just out here when the tide drops. So many good people work down here and there's, it's just like a group of people just trying to escape real life. Nine times out of ten it's really nice and then sometimes it can be a bit brutal. Or you're just sitting there like watching kids bodyboard for six hours and you're just thinking, what am I doing with my life? And then you're just like, it's actually alright. <laughs> I love crocs. These are actually from here. I have my own crocs but I left them at home. It's nice to have a little balance like a whole day down at the beach and turn your mind off and then go home and do some email shit. It'll just be a relief seeing it all come into place. Because my responsibility is more so all of the production side of thing with the bands and getting that. So once that's all set up, I can just blame other people. Nah. Hopefully just the space looks nice and it's inviting. So it just feels a bit homey for everyone. This is an art gallery that's connected to Daily Grind next door. I do like marketing and events. All the artwork and all the exhibitions are, have somewhat of a surf skate sort of foundation. What are we? We're Wednesday today. So three days away. Fuck. And we just ticked over a thousand tickets today. So huge. It's normally the highest percentage of tickets sold in the last week. And we've got only like maybe 20%, 15% left of tickets left. We forgot to do our marketing through the messenger, it probably would have been sold out already if we put it in the messenger. <laughs> I've actually got the 745, local mid-coast band, Day Bed Records finest, doing some screen printing for some fresh merch at the back. Righto boys, show us some finished print. How much are they going for? I don't know, how much? 30. 30 bucks. To be confirmed. Don't film this one, I fucked it up. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, see ya. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as I was just saying, we ticked over a thousand tickets today. Sick. Yeah. So good. Not sure if there'll be a thousand in front of us though. See, like, Could one be. people come to the end, but you never know. We'll get one practice in. Maybe yeah. tonight. So yeah. Maybe one on the day as well. Yeah. Keep it fresh. Yeah. We're pretty tight anyway. Though. Yeah, don't fight. <laughs> Can't oh, go too wrong. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> Our band's actually named after a bus. So yeah. Maybe we will. Simple fives, the OG bus route. They're like, because we jam at Ruben's house over in Seaford, and I, I live like near Christie's, so like come down Murray Road, pick up me, go through, pick up Marcus. You already had your license anyway, so just meet you there. And then like me and Marcus be cruising on the bus down to Seaford. I'm just like, no. it's just how we get around everywhere. Might as well call it 745. I'll be wrong. So, just working on the final run sheet for the day. We've got Young Henry stage, Daily Grind stage, and just chock a block bands. 30 minute sets, all back to back, and then finishing with Bad Dreams with a 45 minute set. <laughs> Wednesday night training here at Port Nalunga Football Club, home of the Cockle Divers, sweating bullets, getting ready for the old Dinga Sharks round one. Good group of people actually, I mean a new but everyone's, everyone's that keen for the festival, everyone's 
literally just the talk of training. Not, no one's even thinking about footy. Everyone's just talking about the gig this weekend, which is a good thing. But um, if we finish this gig off, sell it out and raise all this money, like, this is what it's for. So these guys can keep playing and their kids can come and play at the same facilities that they played at and talk about the gig that kicked it all off. Um, like I'll be spinning yarns for years. I'll be that old codger at the bar, be like, back in my day we had the gig here. I don't even know what else I'll say. I'll spin yarns for two hours and chew someone's ear off. But yeah, it's going to be sick. I didn't sleep that well last night. I was pretty excited. Like I was just like, and then I just wake up randomly, like thinking of like something that had to be done, like the lanyard printing, like the thing in the lanyard. I was like, fuck, and the merch as well. Um, well, I'm just thinking, just before we empty the rest of these out, just want to look at what are your thoughts on where we've where where, where Ditz has coned some shit out. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on here. Is this the generator? Room? This is kind of like the generator booth thing here. I'm thinking like, if, if the like truck was here, yeah. you know, and then probably there would be like- The front. The front of it, and then you'd take an extra, probably two steps for the barrier. That's pretty good. Like roughly, or you could even go in a little bit more as well. So you don't reckon that's too small? Nah. If you think about how big that car park was, mm. and we were going to do it there, and how big this space is, like big funnel, then it means just like everyone is involved, you know? Yeah. Like there's no dead space. I envision the main front of the main hitting here. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And then that way the front of the second stage is still like out a bit. Because if it's poking in and it comes to like here, then you're sort of cutting off vision to the toilets and the food trucks. Definitely, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, now nah, I'm with you. There's not really much we can do until the truck gets here, to be honest. If it's 15 minutes late, do you reckon to say how you travelled? Yeah. Yeah, there's a new year. Dude, they smashed the fencing out. Fuck. Yeah. Where's the truck guy? Excuse me, mate. Um, we just got the, the trucks on the expressway with the stage. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it'll be in any second. If we can just refrain from just doing the, the back yeah, one. We just brought this on because you didn't want to bring a whole truck on it, like a full one. So yeah. We just we'll get oh, yeah, that, that, that's kind. And then. Uh, oh, the council love that. <laughs> hey, Bob. How you going? Sorry to ha sorry to hassle you. I was just like, um, that's all right. I saw the green truck and I was, I'm Jack anyway. Yeah, how about you? I yeah. Already yeah. Already Which is the side? Is it that side that opens up? Both sides. Okay. Oh, both sides. Perfect. So, you can, so when we get there, we either back in or off over. Or yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. You, 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 yeah. We'll, maybe we'll back in. Um, you just show, show me where you want me. And yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. Yeah. We'll just cruise in over here. It's coming along pretty good though. I'm really, I'm stoked on where that is. That's good. With the stage coming out, like, to here, roughly. Fuck, it's gonna look sick. Mate, this will be you, Dits, at about seven o'clock. Getting on the microphone. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. Yeah. Technique, you don't need One, two, three. Well, these guys are pretty much taking care of the main stage, looking pretty good. Second stage is bit neglected thus far, but we just got to put the pallets down and um, raise it up. Uh, temp fencing's nearly done. Cool. Do you reckon that's 54 mil by 86 mil? Surely. That would, that would fit in there, yeah, surely. Because this is the site, so that's where I bought it oh, from. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just need to figure out, I need to put that into AI. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? So it's the right size. Do it a bit smaller? Yeah, I'll do like a bleed thing. Think. Cool. You're onto it. Um, yes. Yeah. Let's get that. <laughs> yes, it. Yes, it. Nice one. Let me get a video of that. <laughs> that looks great. I reckon we can kind of we could brand that second one. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've got Ash there just saying, you got the big cockadiver round helmet that we could mount that cockadiver up high and just the, the oh, helmet. Imagine the below. helmet above the stage. Where's the helmet? Wait, Jack! Hey. <laughs> just come for check things out. <laughs> Good, eh? Hey. Oh, it's like dance music, like Nickelback. Nickelback song, that's fucked up. That... There. That sounds good. It's not actually too loud from here though. That's good. Because that was pumping over there. Uh, I'm sitting on the excavator and the excavator's rocking. I'm thinking. <laughs> he was like, I was trying to tell him about the day and stuff, and he's just like, hey, here's the chorus. <laughs> Whoa! All those prayers are starting to become answered. <laughs> oh my god. More prayers than emails were sent, I reckon. Yeah. For this yeah. one. Without this truck, the festival wouldn't be going ahead essentially. We've got a truckload of beer. How many do I have on the way here? Check out the three pallets on the back. It's actually a bit underwhelming. <laughs> I thought it was going to be stacked to the brim, but it's literally just a couple of pallets down there. Just when the opportunity popped up, it was probably too good to be true, really. Big live music event, which we're always sort of really happy to be involved with. And um, yeah, as we can see here, yeah, got to keep the punters happy with a bit of beer. So no, really keen to, to be involved and looking forward to tomorrow. If it becomes a yearly thing, we're happy to, uh, happy to stay involved. As long as I keep getting my tickets, then, uh, then I'm, I'm happy. We'll know how much stock to get next year as well, so it'll be good. A lot of cartons when you look at it, isn't there? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like a lot. No. Is that what you're saying about? What's that? It doesn't look like a lot. I reckon it looks like heaps once you start pulling apart. Oh, okay, yeah. But when I saw it in the truck, I was like, <laughs> 1,500 people <laughs> getting smashed. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did heaps of bands from Adelaide venture down this way to play gigs because they knew there was a crowd down here? Uh, the ones we did work with, you know, yeah. um, like Iron Sheiks, Where's a Pope, yeah. um, all of those guys, yeah. they come down here, played regularly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, as regularly as possible. Yeah, you know. And the footy club was one of those venues. The wasn't footy it? club was the place, mate. Yeah. yeah. When grunge hit, we had some venues down here playing to maybe 100, 200 people, and then all of a sudden Nirvana hit, and it just went stupid. Big shows with a thousand odd people, 10, 20 band lineups, all the big names, Grinspoons, Living Ends, uh, and we sort of followed along on those coattails, as, as most of the local bands did. We thought it was gonna go on forever. So the rooms that we used to play, once the poker machine started coming in, uh, they realised they didn't need people drinking. They just have 20 machines and that's their turnover. I'm glad to say Port and Lunga hasn't gone down that track, so um, that's why we're here for a fundraiser for the club. Nice day to go to the club. <laughs> Here's the big fella, the man of the moment. Oh, boys, it looks magnificent. Yeah. And I don't think... I think the ground's going to be all right. I think so as well. It's, like, it's not like it's. Big fella. It's not yeah, like yeah. it's it's um soft. No, no, it's, it's pretty hard. It's isn't it? great. No, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty lush. It? It's pretty lush. I yeah. reckon they would have watered it this morning. The only thing I worry so, about yeah. is yeah. ruin it for the cricket. But I don't think we will. Is that kangaroo shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> that's your job. It. We left it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Main stage. Main stage and then the yeah. daily stage. Okay, here. daily stage there. It's going to be. <laughs> I don't know if you're sending lots of words at the moment. Oh, baby! Nickelback! Come on! Come in, guys! This is unreal! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Wow, that is awesome. You like Nickelback now? That's it. Is this Nickelback? Are you serious? This is me. This is my connection to the Port Langer Footy Club. The last time we won a premiership in the A grade was 1997 and uh, I was lucky enough to be a part of that and that was an amazing day. But we're due for another premiership. We've got Andrew Jarman coaching this year and we've got a good bloody team so give it a couple of years and I think we'll be up there. We love the old club rooms because you know they meant so much and the memories that we had in that place was unbelievable but it was run down. There was safety problems you know what I mean. It was, it was pretty sad so we were very lucky to get a uh, grant from the government and these are our brand new club rooms, which I think every club in the Southern Footy League deserves. But you know what, the club, unfortunately, um, it's hard to raise money. We found it hard to even get furniture into the club and um, this has been a great fundraiser for the club. That, that's eggs, Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, sick, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Oh, dude, this is Smiko. Pretty sick. The fruit truck's pretty good. I was a bit skeptic because like it looks pretty. It was pretty tight without the extension on it. We we're just gonna be like standing on each other with all the gear. But we're gonna move these pallets. Now it's looking pretty good. Get all the grass packed out. Then 1500 there. Should be sick, eh? Hey? As the old saying goes, Plan B is the new Plan A. Yeah. It's gonna be a good day. And it was actually a pretty fun day on this on the setup. Yeah. I think once you immerse yourself into it with no. Uh, you know, your sole focus is actually on doing it. It's a much easier, you know, than having... And I just fucking hate the computer. Yeah. But I think our stress last week made today so much easier. Like, we put all the work in so much earlier and planned when people were arriving and stuff like that, which was something new for us. And so it all just went, went smoothly today because of the work we did last week. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. So... Fitz has arrived at just prime timing, hasn't he? Just right at the end of the day. Hasn't had a lift. And he's just thing, handed yeah. us a midi. <laughs> just like this overarching puppet hand that just picks us up and just drops us in certain situations. Nah, but without uh, him, we wouldn't be, it was, it's not possible. It's not possible without him. But yeah, tomorrow's just 9 a.m. Standard working day, 9 to 5. 9 to 5. 9 to 5 a.m. <laughs> 9 to 5 a.m. with a long lunch at around 11 to 5 a.m. <laughs> the longest lunch. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, should we put up this stuff? I don't even know how we do this, but... Dude, I can pull it off the roof a bit, because then I'll go around that hinge and it'll be fine. It looks a bit whack, but... Where I am? Yeah, like, off the roof, just put it around that, like, the hinge really quick. Yeah, there you go. Is it too low? Oh, it won't be too low. Does it look shit, or does it look alright? No, no, it looks slow. So slow. So slow. <laughs> Slayed up. Dude, my mum will be proud. <laughs> this is some sturdy ass bunting. Yeah. She doesn't mess around. Oh, that looks good. Now I'm into it. It goes with the medieval. <laughs> Fuck, I'm that keen. Yeah, so Holy good. shit. Wow. I didn't even expect it to be like this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty, that looks good. Yeah, yeah it's looking perfect. Good. That looks alright. Yeah, sturdy ass. I'm just running screws in. I don't know how we're going to keep that. Sneaking. <laughs> Doors just opened, so it's 12 o'clock. 40 tickets on the door, or people can buy them before they come. That, they're going to go, aren't they? Let's hope. We've got Daybird Solid Investor, Mr. Chris Anthony. Hello. Um, he sits on the board on all of our big meetings. Um, we're going to go find Jack Stokes. Yeah. And we'll give you the final wrap up about where we're heading today. Sounds good. Do you know how we do this rider, Jack, when you're free? Yeah. Got to get the band some beers. Where are you putting them? Main, main band room? Yeah, I'd probably just leave it for a little there's while. Not, there's none in there? Yeah. Like, there's no point stocking it up with ice and stuff when they weren't, they're probably like another four hours away. Okay. Yeah. I'll put a couple in. But yeah, you put yeah, put a couple. Put yeah. that shit in there. Yeah. Um, and then I'll leave it in there. None of the food and that yet, yeah, because we don't want it just sitting out on the table. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, easy. Cool. See. The only employee. And we're all level <laughs> in this company. The old school boss regime is over. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. But.
At the end of the day, if the beer's in the fridge and it's cold the night before, it's gonna be a good day. These are gonna go down well later, I reckon. Welcome aboard, Jack. Just like the kids when they're walking down the beach at Aquatic, dragging their feet. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, when I sort of get involved with these things, I sort of rock up. I get the call up the week before, oh, Chris, can you start doing this and this? And I'm like, yep, that's cool. I've taken work off, that's like, all good. I kind of expected it. But I would say yesterday was the best I've felt yeah. so far in terms yeah. of like uh, things to do and time and stuff like that. It was pretty good. Yeah, it's, all, it's always up from here. Yeah. Just that first little bit. And then there'll be, when, when heaps of people come in, it kind of just like takes its own little path. Now, uh, Porties brought music back to Porties. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We That's the yeah. final. Yeah. Porties, we just Porties enabled it. Back. We're enablers. Live yeah. music is alive and well in the South. Thinking about cracking one of those beers, I just stopped. Actually, no, it. I'm thinking yeah. of that as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to do it on the download. Yeah. <laughs> We've known Stokesy for a while, haven't we? Yeah. And you've obviously known Tom. Yeah, since birth. Yeah. Fits his birth, not mine. So, uh, yeah, just lucky enough to get roped in to play this massive gig and stoked to be here, honestly. This is our second show actually, so it's an honour to be here on this stacked bill. We suck, boys! We want to go with our toys! We give you guts of that! We just don't feel stuck! Thank you! Thank you so much, bro, for coming out here and smash up next! officially sold out. I just made aware, a couple of people trying to get in, but we let him in. Two more extras. But officially sold out. Stoked. So stoked. You win! You dream! Wet, 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 dream, dream! Not a strong way to do you! But I win now! Window two, but it's it! To the world of your feet! And I said! Go! club secretary got phone calls from the neighbours saying, yeah. what's going on with all that noise? And that, that was, I think, sound check and a guy on the other side of the river um, heard, it. heard it, so he must have woken him up at 11.30 <laughs> and uh, away we go. <laughs> See what the time turns is night to daylight See what the time It don't matter what you got to do See what the time what you got to do now See what the time Leave it all behind There'll be the feeling crammed You're going to be fucking awesome Look at the young bands that played before us. They're awesome. They're local. They got a good crowd. They got a good young crowd following. That's exactly what happened with us. It's just, it's just another generation coming through. 
all the pre-pandemic stuff gone. They can start writing their own scripts and their own stories. That's what I want to see happen. I'm happy to be the grandpa standing on the side. <laughs> I've come bearing gifts. I come bearing gifts. That's high. This is just the icing on the cake. But the, the, the middle of the cake is the symbol five and Stella, you know? Like the young kids doing it. They've had it, handed to them on a silver platter. And they, they've done really well with it.
the video game. Tonight than tomorrow. <laughs> How you feeling, mate? Oh, I'm done. Done? Cooked. Done, like Tom. Done like a Tom dinner. Good effort. On his birthday. Good effort, Good effort all around. No, I'm done. Yeah, we've, yeah. we're cooked now. Yeah, we're going to clean it up. Get Just out. because the camera's here. I can't even bend over. Yeah. Even if the camera's <laughs> here, I'm not picking up shit. <laughs> oh, Mate, wait till you're 48 and tired and done and your hamstrings are cooked. That's you're what done. I feel like. How are you fucking doing it? He does the initial outcome, Dips? Oh, mate, outstanding success. Outstanding success. Um, yeah, I don't know, many levels. Oh, no, yeah. prob no problems. Nah. You couldn't get much better than what, what we've done. It's um, it's ticked a few boxes. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to fathom at the moment. Yeah, yeah, we're on a high. The uh, adrenaline le levels are going, and Tom's going to pick up a few. Uh, I'll grab this one. A few can pulls. Just yeah. for the. There's about 400 to go. <laughs> if I didn't do that, no one would have. <laughs> and uh, how's the ground looking for the cricket ground? I reckon it's looking good. Got um, the David pocket. Don't 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 look over there. But that's why we took it outside of the um out of the uh, circle, um, so it's in the outfield um, and hopefully the opposition will trip over something and drop a catch. <laughs> yeah, I might leave a couple of little, uh, <laughs> little bombs out here. <laughs> <laughs> but the kangaroos will be in a minute. Oh yeah, they'll be they'll dropping be able bombs. To clean, they'll be able to clean up yeah. everything that's left. The right. kangaroos will be dropping all the bombs. <laughs> thank you, boys. No, no, no thank, thank you. Thank you. It's Let's been, honestly, everyone that's just contributed it's a full team I think effort. we'll be talking about this for a long time <laughs> there were so many old school crew my age that yeah. were like fucking well done man like we haven't had this for years yeah, yeah. Same and with they me. were so stoked on the young yeah, crew as well yeah. like, and then vice versa yeah, oh, yeah I don't even nah, know. it was good i mean it was above and beyond really. sit down yeah, and that. spill your guts <laughs> in yeah i'm honestly blown away what just happened like, yeah, no, it was, it was really good. It feels a bit of a whirlwind. It feels an absolute whirlwind. I think this last three months is probably the first time I've ever experienced like proper stress. And I think like I purely that. for the fact that we just wanted it to go so well, like in the best way possible. But there was just so many things that we just didn't know how to tackle at the time and we did. And like, I know it's like fundraising for the footy club, but like it gives back in so many different ways. Like, the music scene, the Adelaide music scene, it's like, it's almost a fundraiser without money for them, you know, like, yeah. it's a weird fundraiser in a non-financial way for so many different aspects, like, yeah. even for us, like, we got so much out of this experience yeah. in so many different ways. Yeah. And for me, who doesn't actually give a fuck about the footy club, really, it's just about people supporting the arts and getting together, having a good yarn, having a drink. Yeah. Just being together and talking to one another and experiencing things all together. Yeah. Today was probably a perfect example of like, the community is the foundation of everything. It's like music scene or footy club, you're both there for the same reason. Yeah. And it just so happened that today they were both in the same spot celebrating the same thing. Um, so music and footy is probably not too much. Yeah. And I feel different. like a lot of people think that everyone is really different. You know, you're a footy player or you, you play in a band, but really, we're all human and we're all very similar. So it's just kind of just like everyone together, nice little segue into a new thing. Today was a nice day to go to the club. Especially with that sort of the bend in the club and then having that shade and all the vantage points to be able to see the music. It was a really nice day to go to the club. It was a nice day to have a bend in the club. And <laughs> the bar definitely saw a nice day to go to the club. Young Henry's, initially the order was 300 cartons. No, it was 500. No, no, it was 500, sorry. And then um, they changed it to 300. And uh, We ran out at five. We, we ran out at 4 p.m. Yeah. 4 p.m. for 300 cartons. And then, our, then we just had people going to the bottleos for the last two hours. The mid coast are thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> it feels really good that it's in this area and it feels really good there's so many familiar faces. Yeah. And it, but more so just seeing young kids being involved in it and feeling inspired to do the same thing because I had that same feeling watching bands. You yeah. just see in their eyes, they're just encapsulated by what's going Damn, on. And then they have their friends going, Start a know, band. I, I could probably do that yeah. as well. And that's just what it's all about. Yeah. David Records is music, the arts. Or anything worth doing. Or anything you want to say at a party where someone asks you what your job is and you say, oh, 
to oh, a record label. Got a record label, and they go, "Oh, that's Ooh. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. How much money did you make here? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, <laughs> negative. <laughs> no. Yeah. They've they've been here for two days, and they've been slaving. So, wrap up and give them a hand. I reckon. Thanks, Tipple. That's good. Cool. Let's do yeah. Thank you, mate. Right. Thank you, Tim. You. Thanks, brother. That's yours, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give the rest. Thank you. For, yeah, 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 for sure. Let's see how this all comes together. Yeah. Um, just, how long does that um, battery last for? Or you just shove them in and out? No, these last six hours. But my headphone batteries only last eight hours. Only. <laughs> only. Such a streamlined <laughs> bloody system. So that's all sorted. They're taking the back line, Grum's taking the truck and all this. So really there's no point of us to get back tomorrow. We'll leave that open so they can drive out. Um, I need a kiss. I need a kiss. Uh, thank, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Are you going to? Yeah. I don't really know anything about grass, but that looks like it'll come back. Apparently, council are actually cool with it. Oh, they came and checked it out. They're like, that's actually not too bad. Oh, that's good. That's, yeah, that's the very front. Like, that's where people would have been resting on the barrier, like here. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I thought it was the other way around. And you can't see jack shit from the truck. No. Nah. If I was a batsman, I'd be hitting it to fine leg. Bit uneven turf, bounce it over the fielders, straight for four.